All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rekak Wadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to I came out there preaching his word in truth and sincerity. This is Brother Shamar coming back with another lesson. So I just wanted to go into how um, this movie I seen, I was just watching it on YouTube. It had just it popped up on my recommended feed. So I just checked it out because of the title. And it's a movie that came out in 2009, I believe. But the name of the movie is, uh, it's called New Order. Order. So, you know, just from the title, I was like, you know, I'll check it out. But, you know, it's like a, a low budget movie, so to speak, because it's an indie film. Nothing that came out in theaters or anything like that. Yet uh, in the movie, it was showing you uh, pretty much what's, you know, how it's going to be going down in a time where Esau is actually trying to instit institute his uh, new world order and pushing the chip on everyone, you know, because that's basically, you know, hence the name of the movie, you know, New World Order. And in the movie, they're pretty much, they're uh, pushing it. Everybody has to get the certain mark on them. And then if you don't get the mark, they was pretty much, they're rounding you up. They're killing you. You know, anybody who had, um, who didn't, um, tell you to the government or you know give you up to the government so to speak they they were put to death you know and then you were deemed uh, basically an enemy of the state pretty much an like enemy of the government if you didn't have the mark and refused to take it as well as if you believed you know believed in the bible you were deemed an a enemy and they was trying to get you to denounce your faith ultimately because that's what it is you know Getting you to denounce your belief in Yahweh by Shem Shai by you taking the image, taking the mark, you know, taking the mark of the beast and worshiping the image of the beast, you know, his him worshiping the system, allowing Esau to rule over you and just and um forsaking your um belief in Yahweh by Shem Shai, you know. But uh, I wanted to, first scripture I wanted to go um start off with and then because it was a scene in a movie that this scripture popped in my mind. It was, um, this I'm going to start at Luke 21 and sixteen. It says, And ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinsfolk and friends, and some of you shall they cause to be put to death. And that's exactly what happened, you know, in the movie, all right? And, you know, it's a lot like if you you finna go watch it or whatever, but, you know, in my opinion, it's like kind of a slow movie, yet it has different points in there, you know, that stand out as far as relating to the truth. Yet, you know, it says that you will be betrayed by your parents, brethren, kinfolks, and friends, and some of you shall they cause to be put to death. And that's exactly what happened in the movie. You know, um, one chick in the movie that was like one of the main characters... She pretty much, her parents, her, well, they was going to going to get the mark of the beast pretty much. And then they was telling her like, oh, it's okay. You should go and take it, da, da, da. And, you know, and she was just saying, no, I'm not going to do that. Because in the movie, the chick, she was into the scriptures. And she knew that it was off to go and get it pretty much. She knew that it was the mark of the beast. And she was like, you know, rebuking her parents saying like, I'm not going to get that. That's the mark of the beast. That's, that's the mark of Satan, this and that. So it was just showing you, you know, these these uh, movie directors, of course, they know what's up. Nonetheless, you know, in the movie, it's just basically painting it clear as day how, you know, it was go it's going to be like, pretty much. And this is literally what the scripture is saying, you know, how your your um, parents will betray your brethren, your kinsfolks, and friends. So the people that's out here taking the mark of the beast and all that, it's going to get to a point where it's just like in that movie, you know. Because in the movie, her, uh, her parents, they got the mark and all that, and then they was telling her to take it. And at first she was saying, no, I don't want to do that. That's the mark of Satan, this and that. And she kept disagreeing with her parents. And then you already know what her parents ended up doing. You know, they ended up calling Esau on her, you know, calling the government. All right. And just basically snitching on their daughter, saying that she didn't get the mark. And then, you know, they they came searching for her and everything. All right. You know, she got away, whatever. And then later on in the movie, her so-called friend, you know, dude that she, she was talking to, Ended up betraying her. He had the mark the whole time, setting her up and her and other people, telling them that he had a getaway spot, we could hide here from the government. And the whole time, this dude was setting everybody up, you know. 
just so the government could roll on everybody because there was like a so-called uh, revolutionist in the movie, a group of people who didn't want to accept that mark. And he basically just set up everyone, you know, to get rolled on by, by the government. And that's the type of things you're going to have happening as well during that time, you know, when the mark of the beast is being pushed on everyone and people who don't have it, you're, they're going to be getting rolled on, you know, pretty much rounded up, brought into uh, FEMA camps because that's basically where they was being brought in the movie, you know. When they got rounded up, it was bringing them to a, spe a special location to where they pretty much tell you to denounce your your faith in a roundabout way and just come in and um, worship our 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 um our leader and accept his image and um and get take his mark upon and put it on your forehead. And you already know anybody who said no, they they was getting put to death. And then uh, another scene in the movie that stood out to me as well is uh. <clears throat> You know, uh, Jake, when it came down to life or death, he instantly, you know, he didn't even hesitate. He was like, I'll take the I'll take the mark just so he could prolong his life, you know, because that's how two thirds of our people are. man. you Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, you you fear death so much that you're willing to to take the mark of the beast just to prolong your life. Because Esau's he threatened you with death right then and there, not even knowing that. Ultimately, the author of life and death is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Yet you will fear Esau. You will fear what man can do unto you, and not what the heavenly Father can do unto you. You know. And, that, and when I seen that, I was just thinking like that's really how our people would be, though. You know, when that when it comes down to something like that happening, all right? Because you're going to be betrayed um, by your by your family, your friends. You know, all like I was saying in the movie. That's exactly how it went down. Like her parents betrayed her. She, um, the dude, she was, she liked her, whatever. He betrayed her. Set up everybody else that was that was part against the uh, government, trying to push the mark on everybody. All right, and then at the end of the movie, she she ended up denouncing her faith because she got put. She got a uh, when it came down to her getting put to death, she was scared, and then she ended up denouncing her faith. Trying to tell her friend to go to um take the mark, and her friend, she she, she was in the spirit basically because she said, she um she refused to take the mark, and she she chose to get put to death, you know. And that's that's you know that's how that's the mentality that we're supposed to be in, you know, like the scriptures say, strive for the truth unto death. So we have to be faced with death because it says, in here, and some of you shall they cause to be put to death. Hey, if we have to be faced with death, man, we we gotta you know. Hey, pray to Yah, Bashim Yah, Shai, that he put the spirit on us to endure that, whatever it may be, you know. Because at least we stand it, we're, um, we're, we're, uh, we're going out like a real man, you know. Just keeping our faith until the very end, man. <clears throat> but like I was saying in that movie, it was just showing, you know, when I was watching it, it's like basically just showing you how it's going to be when they start pressing the mark of the beast. Because it's exactly how it said in um, Revelations, you know. In um, 13, I'm going to read it real quick, even though we all know this. It's Revelations 13 and 16. And he calls us all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that's exactly where it was at in the movies. You know, it was in their, either on their hand or their forehead. And it said, uh, And that no man might buy or sell, save he that have the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And that's exactly what was going down in the movie, you know. Anybody who didn't have it, you couldn't you couldn't have a job, you couldn't do anything in society, go out to eat or nothing, couldn't buy or sell. The government was rounding you up, you was declared an enemy, you know, all these different things. All because you were refusing that mark. Alright. And that mark of the beast is the RFID chip, you know, microchip, alright? For anyone out there, all these other dudes out there who say that the mark of the beast isn't isn't that, you know. There's nothing else out there that's going to stop you from buying or selling or really just like get you ostracized from the society. Okay. And when this time does come, which is in the near future, man, it's going to, like I said, I was reading in Luke. You will not have family members betraying um, people, you know, your friends betraying people, kindreds. Because when it, when it comes down to life or death, man, the people, the masses of the people are scared to put their life on the line, you know, for anybody, even their self. You know, they ain't willing to die. 
they they'll take the the chip just out of fear, you know, in itself, fear of dying. How much more telling on the next person just so they can escape death? You know, people wouldn't hesitate to do that. You see how Jake is when they be on um when they be in the what's the um uh, you know interrogation room when it come down to doing the, the big biz in prison, they break down and tell them everybody just so they can get out. So how much more when it comes to you actually not even getting a bid at all and then they telling you, look, look if you don't tell us where to do that, we finna just take you out right now, you know? You saw ain't finna hesitate to do that. And you know our people, two-thirds of them, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they ain't gonna hesitate to do that, you know, telling on people just so they can prolong their life. All right, let alone take the, the chip to prolong their life. And like I said, it was showing you showing you that in a movie. It's a low budget movie, nonetheless. Yet it, it, it uh, um, the meaning behind it, you know, it basically giving you a visual, a lightweight visual, of how things would be with the mark. You know, literally, in a movie, everybody everywhere you went, everybody had the mark. Like you seen it on their forehead or their hand, and then you kind of look like a weirdo, so to speak, because you're the only person, or very like one of the very few people that don't have it. And everybody else, where you go, like restaurants. Uh, females that go into hair salons or whatever, like everywhere you go, even news people, like everybody, you know, had that mark. And then you just kind of stand out. Everybody looking at you kind of like, like, who, like, damn, this dude ain't got the mark or you ain't got the mark, whatever. What's up with this guy? Like they ready to call, you know, call a government on you because you ain't got the mark. And that's how it's going to be when that time comes. You know, you're going to you're going to stand out like a sore thumb, so to speak. All right. <clears throat> And uh, next scripture I wanted to get is in Sirach. I'm going to get start at chapter 2, verse 13. And it says, Woe unto him that is faint-hearted, for he believeth not, therefore shall he not be defended. Yeah, and that woe means destruction, man. And you can't be, be in that type of spirit, man. Because if you're faint-hearted and you don't believe, hey, the Lord ain't finna defend you in that time to come, man. Because that time is in the near future, all right? It's around, it's around the corner, like I've been saying. All right? And you see things, all these things happening in this year. And the only way that we're going to be able to escape by this, man, is by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh It's nothing that we can do in our own power to escape from these things that's coming to pass. Hey, we have to rely on the Heavenly Father, man, and be in good standing with the Heavenly Father that He may deliver us and defend us in that times to come all right because that's exactly uh, that's that's exactly what we have to do when those times do come is is rely on the, the spirit of Yah Bashim Yah Shai man calling upon Yah Bashim Yah Shai to, to get us through these things and guide us in those times man because we're not going to know where we're going next it's going to literally be all hell breaking loose you know it's not like you can be like these bug outs who do these uh doomsday prep and stuff all that stuff going out the window you're just going to be like a pilgrim, just going to and fro, not knowing where, not knowing where you're going next. Not knowing when you're going to get your next meal or whatever, how you're going to survive. Yeah, you're going to have to trust in the spirit of Yah, Bashim Yah Shai, that he's going to just lead you and guide you and carry you through all of that, man. All right. And the next scripture says, next verse, it says, Woe unto you that have lost patience, and what will you do when the Lord shall visit you? Yeah, man. All these all these people out here, man, that 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 don't believe it's going to happen anytime soon, all right. That stopped believing in Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, went back into the world, and all these people that's going to take that mark when it comes time when Esau's really, you know, mandating that it, you have to take it because that's what it was in the movie, all right. It wasn't it it wasn't optional. At first, it started off being optional, but then it, it like you know it's a movie, so it happened quick, nonetheless. It started being mandated, you know, because of some some type of little terrorist attack or something happened. And then next thing you know, they started mandating it just so that you, they can know. So pretty much so Esau, he can know that you're on his side. Pretty much based off the movie, that's how they made it seem. All right. And that's how it's going to be pretty much. Esau is going to say, if you ain't got the chip, then you could be a possible terrorist. You might be a plotting an attack against the government. So we got to mark, put a mark in you or put the chip in you. So we know who you are, where you at, what you're doing, all, you know, all these different things. All right. So all you people, you know, are two, when I say you people, I mean you two thirds, you're not Latinos, Native Americans and you Negroes. All right. 
what y'all gonna do when the times come, man? The ones who don't believe that all this is real. Because this is very real. And it's gonna happen sooner or later. Alright? And the Lord's gonna be visiting all two-thirds of our people. You see how he's visiting our people now, man. You know, Kobe Bryant got put to death. Alright? And a lot more people, two-thirds of our people are gonna be put to death. Because the scriptures say that the Lord, he's gonna start his judgment at his house, man. Alright? So you're gonna start seeing a lot more judgment happening with our people, and rightfully so, because they not they don't trust in or believe in Yah by Shimei Shai. So you're gonna see a lot more judgment going down for our people. Alright. Yet us, we gotta to continue to lean upon Yah by Shimei Shai and keep the faith, you know. Not lose patience, not be faint hearted, keep believing, you know, so that we may be defended when these times come. Because it's gonna be very hard times, man. A very hard trial of our faith. And we have to be able to endure these things in order to make it, you know, make it to the end to be delivered in the Lord's will. And so I'm going to wrap it up with that. You know, I just wanted to make this because I had just watched the movie. So it was fresh on my mind and I wanted to just get it out the way. But like I said, the movie is, is I, don't, I wouldn't say I technically recommend watching it. It's like a low budget indie movie. It just kind of shows you pretty much how things will be. When um, Esau starts implementing the chip, and you know it mentions certain little other things dealing with Iran and all that, so Esau knows, man. You know, hey, we in the last days, and that's just, you know that's what it is. Hey, so with that, I'm gonna give our praises again to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakudash, double honors to our apostles and elders. Inshallah, Wam Tada Aki, my there preaching his word in truth and sincerity. Inshallah, Wam.